are you? How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Good. Ready for okay. the big day? I'm going to have someone here that's going to look at your list of guests and say, yes, they're supposed to be here. Exactly. Right? Okay. Now, do you have a separate, if you're going to run that off your laptop, do you have a separate? Yeah, this is great. This looks perfect on camera and everything. While I would love the big projector wall, I am very much pleased that everything's working how it's supposed to be. TV will work fine. So I wanted to run some stuff by you and hear your thoughts on what you think is uh, the move for tomorrow. I love the creative shots you got last time. They were, they were phenomenal. And I want to have that, but also even more just like filming like everything, like almost behind the scenes documentary style too. I literally feel like my literal life lately has literally how many times am I gonna say literally? Has literally been straight phone calls. Literally just all phone calls. Like, it's so much, my, my throat actually hurts from talking so much lately. Which probably means I'm not talking properly. I need to figure that out. But, I'm just talking, talking, talking. <laughs> all right, so this is growing, this is growing. I just, I just met up with Amber and one, oh, thank God for her husband. He got me a volume pedal. Literally probably the same exact one because he's the one that inspired me to get the other one eight years ago. Of course it works for eight years and the two days before this $20,000 concert it breaks. <laughs> so I'm borrowing his, which is huge. So I was telling her the, everything that I went through with Donna and, and one thing that I think is really cool is we kind of have this idea now to expand it a little more. So instead of just the one TV, we daisy chain together a bunch of TVs and have them throughout the space. So like those, not only is it like those fl like flashing videos happening in one little corner, they'll happen all over. All right, let's test out Josh's pedal. Hopefully this works. Can you tell which one's mine, which one's Josh's? Okay, okay, okay. Please work, please work. All right, moment of truth. Please work, please work, please work, please work, please work. Please work. Yes. Last minute game time decision. I am on my way. So I called the guy. I'm on my way to the guitar tech, the guitar tech that I use all the time. And I called him like, hey man, like I know it's super last minute, but like any chance you'd potentially like have time for a quick like guitar tune up by tomorrow? <laughs> and the guy is super nice. He's like, how soon can you get it to me? So now I had, I wasn't planning on doing this. I just figured, I was like, you know what? I was like debating, like, I don't think it's really worth the money. Like, and I was like, you know what? It, it doesn't feel right. Like I could feel the strings are really old. Like the tone's not there. Like Devin's voice popped in my head. It's like, dude, you're so close. Like don't start skimping now. It's like, do it, just do it right. You know, like we're not talking extra $5,000 in last minute. We're like talking a little bit here and there that like that little bits add up, but it's like, don't, don't skimp. Like you're, it's, <laughs> We're talking my guitar, like it's a pretty big factor of the show. Now the part that I debate is like, will people really notice a difference in tone? Like that is likely un un unsure. Hey man, I appreciate you very much, dude. I like uh, I like strats. All right, so I'm definitely grateful for that guitar tech guy, but that definitely took longer than uh, it needed to when I expect, and longer than I expected. I just sent that a message to the band, dude. Like, oh. this time of year is amazing, but it's so terrible for filming. Like, cause like, look at this. So I just sent out a message to the band, kind of like one, thanking them for all the work that they put in, and two, kind of just talking about like some of the requirements and expectations and things about tomorrow, like please wear all black, please be there at 2 p.m. I also said things like ignore the cameras and pretend that they're not there unless you're distinctly looking into the camera directly because like side eye glances kind of look awkward on camera. I said things like it's gonna be hot in there, we're gonna be moving around a lot. If you tend to get oily, consider throwing a little makeup on to help prevent the oil so you don't look shiny on screen. Remember tomorrow we're more than just musicians, we're entertainers, let's give these people a great time. And things like I'm incredibly grateful for all that you put in. It's been a ple it has been genuinely pleasure working with these guys. Literally like minimal to no drama. On a side note, look at these. Just picked up the merch things. Okay. Note to self, offering the cook for the guests that fly in to your concert the day before your show is very stressful. 
everything 100% from the garden. We made tomatoes. We're gonna put some fresh mozzarella in there. Basil and rosemary on the, from the garden. We made uh, some eggplants. Breaded eggplants, 100% from the garden. And we made a, um, a cucumber salad, 100% from the garden. And there's the final product. Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs>